All right, folks, the tank is full. We're ready to get on our way. But, you know, it's no big loss. It's not the end of the world. I'm happy to have just gone and seen what was there. And maybe y'all can look at that footage and be like, wow, I would have really liked that. Wish I was there. You know, just have fun with it. But uh, we're going to make our way back and hit up some other shops that are nearby-ish. But we're going to have to walk for a bit. Because I have to first go back to, I would have to first go back to the bus stop that I got left off at. And then I would have to take a bus back into town to get transferred to come back out the other side of town just to go a little way, a little ways over to get where I need to go. So it's either an hour bus ride, which I now have to pay for again because my transfer is done, or an hour walk. So easy. Let's just let's just hike it, and we'll see you when we get to our next destination. All right? Okay. I hope you're having a good day. All right, we're getting there, so we can go all the way up there. Do an intersection about right there, circle all the way around behind that building, and then come all the way back down here. Or, I can just go right through here. Yeah, let's cut off some time from this journey. Worth it. And there we are. We're through. <laughs> let's keep going. I turned it off because... As soon as I got closer and saw the cattails, I assumed I was going to have to jump a big old ditch swamp. That wasn't the case. It was actually super fine. Just a little bit of bush. But we're moving. We're cooking. All right. That was still a pretty sweaty walk. But we cut 15 minutes off, and that's pretty huge. And now we're here at our first stop. Spirit Halloween. Just kidding. It's Value Village. <laughs> let's, let's hope this can turn our day around a little bit. Oh. That stadia controller still hasn't moved along. Also very interesting. Of course you're gonna have Breath of Fire too. 250 freaking bucks. Mega Man's there, but that's still too much for my taste. We do have a Sega Genesis and a cool pair of headphones. Which I might just look at see what the cost are. I wanted them for a Halloween costume last year. Had to headphones like that. Couldn't find them anywhere, not for any reasonable price, so I might ask them to bring it over. See how much they cost. And then we gotta go look for DVDs. We've been given a task, so we'll go check that out afterwards. We got the games. Not for Dead 2, cool. Star Wars. The original trilogy. No, that's not a bad. We could have worse finds than that. Some more junk PC games, sports games. Nothing important. What the hell is this? This is not a game. <laughs> what the hell? I don't remember Hellgate London. Yeah, so the Sega Genesis was 30 bucks with nothing else with it. So that's a hard pass. And the headphones were $150. So that was an absolute no. So now we gotta go check for these DVDs. Oh yeah. We already know she has both of those, which she would have been she would have been fiending just knowing that they're here. Almost probably would have bought them. Just because she couldn't let them just stay here alone. Okay, so we gotta look for stuff for class. Good morning Vietnam and law and order seasons. Don't think I'm gonna find anything like that. So I'm gonna just peer through all this junk quickly and then move on. Alright, well not only was the movie rack, I went through every single one. Nothing that we were looking for. The movie rack was dry for us. And the crafts rack, I don't necessarily know what I'm doing. 
Okay, maybe that's something. I, I, I have no idea. I'd have to look them up. But, uh, oh, these paints, like, whatever. But either way, it, it's, it's pretty dry, and I don't know what I'm looking for necessarily. I mean, it's always eyeing up these scissors. Maybe I'll have to send her a couple messages so I can, so I can get a, uh, a confirmation on what's good and what's not. Because I would just write this all off as Zippo. <laughs> Seeing if we can't find any of the boys a Civic. Always like looking for them just in case. It's not looking good. That's okay, you hardly ever find the ones you want, just the Super Sports Race Car. 3,000 decals on it. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm on a track, bro. Or muscle cars. It's like a big whatever. Oh, what got? What the? oh it's a Ford Fiesta. Whoa! That'd be a that'd be a fun mean joke to give him. Oh, a little DeLorean. Hmm. Oh, that's worth anything. Probably not. It's probably just mass produced junk by now. Ooh, what are you? Oh, it's a Volkswagen. Every time. Every time. Hatchback? Is that it? Is that it? No, it's a Volkswagen. It's a Golf. Every time. Okay, we'll move on. Make cards. There were lots of cards here last time. And they were in very bad condition last time. At least these ones, at least these ones seem to have, well, they're still a little busted up. I'll have to shift through them in the bag, see if there's anything worth grabbing. Probably not. Give me one sec there. Give me one sec, we're gonna shuffle through. No, they're all beat up. So we'll go look at the games. See if there's any good value board games afoot. Oh, rocket. Definitely nothing special here right now. I bet they probably are on the tabletop games too. And like if there's ever a good one, they just put it right in the booth. Yeah, that's nothing special. Let's go for it. game where you can have it all. Party brothers, go for it. That's okay. Let's go check the appliances. side of things. Empty as per usual. Alright, see you on the other side. Oh, there we are. Already here. Hmm. Huh. Cable wall. Desolate. You got a Nyko virtual Xbox controller with turbo. Oh, yeah. Another, a non-Duke original Xbox controller. Neat. And then what? One Wii power cable. Wii AV cord. Another Wii power cable. This thing's still here. <laughs> the junk. You can never get rid of it. Oh, a nunchuck. There you go. 
half a nunchuck, $3.99. Not worth it. Yeah, so nothing here. So we'll go check the goodie wall next to it. And yep, this wall is looking pretty bad too. You pretty much just got tons of GPS made obsolete by the cellular phone. And that's, this is probably the best thing in here. And this is still just landfill. <laughs> it's nothing. No. A couple cheap portable speakers. Modems galore. If someone can convince me that there is a reason to pick up modems, sure, we're in business, but I don't think there is one. Continue on. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. And it's freaking heavy. How much junk probably fell in there. Tire air. I still bet there's a reason it's here. Give them trash and you can get 20% off. This is beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh, it's got that slow action. Soft touch operation. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is sick. Ooh, dial feels good. Doesn't have decades of dirt and grit behind it. Oh, I guess we don't need to reset the tech deck counter to zero. Oh. Hmm. A little finicky. It's pretty clean too. Dang. If I had stuff, I don't know. If I had tapes and cared about cassette decks and all that stuff, this might be a fun pickup. Only 10 bucks, but it's not the world I work in. What the hell are these things? Surrounds the amplifier. Jeez. Some big hefty things here today. Oh, this is I was about to say, no way. But it's totally not, it's just one of those. Is it? This can't be original. 2004, yeah, this is just remade junk. This probably would have been huge back in its day. A little thrust master, a little knob there. Oh, look at the little wheels for the brakes and the gas. Nothing good now, no. Hmm. 20 bucks for a Wii that is looking pretty sharp, actually. Oh, 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 oh. Close, close, close. Come on. There we go. Hmm. Would it be worth starting? I think I think I can get cheaper. I think I can find a Wii with nothing attached for cheaper than 20 bucks. So come on, we still gotta find the sensor. Gotta find nunchucks, Wii motes. Gotta find the power. I mean the power is just over there. AV is just over there, but still. I think we can do better than that. And so we wait. We don't need to pull the trigger on stuff like that. Third dime a dozen. You'll get one eventually. And now it's okay. I just blew it to the roof. What in the hell? current moment. I do not know what those things are. Feel free to tell me. Teach me something. Now what in the hell is this? Is it broken? Oh yeah. Oh right on. What's a bit of that length? Jeez. You call that a hoist? Well, there's your palm. Well, that's a bit more than a palm sander. 
one that I need. Chunky. Oh, it's LED. Natural colors. Just put natural colors in RGB. Make me think that we got some sort of some sort of RBG RGB ubu gubu technology inside of these things. actually came back to look at this this thing in functioning brand new order is like eight hundred dollars but we just plugged it in and i don't know if there's anything else you're supposed to do but uh weren't getting anything nothing was lighting up uh so possibly broken not only do i not know how or where to get something like this repaired it's also freaking heavy and i do not have the ability to carry that around with me today so if somebody else gets it Good luck. I hope you know what you're doing. And then this little fella showed up. And I thought I was going to try it. I thought I was going to risk it. See if we can even do a trade for it. But looking at the sale prices online right now, it looks like everyone's starting to realize that these were just a giant scam. Um, so they're going for five, ten bucks, all sorts of them. Stick of here is for $14.99. So I'm going to say no to that. So one of my least favorite things. We got stuff like Blue Notes. We got stuff like G21. I believe that was what the old Walmart brand. And A49, $12.99. Like that is the price they're being sold for at those stores, if not higher than what they were thrown out for in the in in the clearance bin. It's just I'm not 100% sure who's pricing the clothing, but I think they are a little whack. I think they're out to a crab lunch there, buddy. Almost had some options here. This one was a little cute. Some the flowers there. Hits are right worn on it, though. Comes off a little gross. This is like a baby's blanket. Where's the vomit stain? What else do we have? This one, too American. And what else do we have? I don't even know what those are. Are those hummingbirds? Kangaroos? Moths? What about this one? Should I cha should I should I challenge Gathalian at the top of the Twitch leaderboard? <laughs> Once again, I tell you, the best frickin' shirt. Look at that. Oh hummingbird oh. oh I love that. Small. And then we got this one right here. Got the freaking Konami code going on on it. Well, the only thing you're locking in this t-shirt is a $7.99 chicken dine at the McDonald's inside the nearest Walmart. Get out of here. All right, some interesting stuff, but all around, nothing that is moving dollars out of my wallet today. Nothing worth investing in. The uh, Breath of Fire 2, I looked it up, it's like they just took the price right off price charting and just slapped that on there. So, no gains for anybody, and I don't know, hopefully someone's excited to pick that up for the full price. Either way, we got another stop. There's one more thrifty option just around the corner, so we can go there, absolutely. I do want to take a quick swing just into Best Buy while we're here. I want to taunt myself with a, uh, with a GoPro. Because I had something, we had a camera like that, that I was going to start using, tested it, it sucked. So, can't use that. So I'm going to need to invest a little bit more and get something good. Oh. Yeah, that's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. And I've seen... I've seen what the image stabilization looks like with the two from the Thubprint YouTube channel. He's got great footage and it's pretty good. So I can only imagine what Hyper Smooth 3 is capable of. Now they are coming out with the 10. So I wonder if we'll see a price reduction here soon on the 9. Hmm. Hmm. All right. 
right, that's enough daydreaming. We got one more stop to make, and it's just up and over past them. So we'll see if our final stop has anything. Anything. There we are. Just a quick spit away. Fingers crossed. You know, it sounds good, but most everything is a paint tag. <laughs> Perfect trap. The perfect trap. One of those off brand emulator. Oh, I mean, I guess the real one's an emulator too, but you know, it's not official. Not an official Nintendo product. Not worth it. Anything over here to surprise me? Old crappy cameras. The relevant cameras and a blackberry okay nothing here we'll do a lap of the store it's not like it's crazy packed with goodies light offerings light on anything i'm interested in does anyone ever pop popcorn like that anymore it's like maybe like two people who bought it too Ooh, pod machines no thank you all right, it wasn't great, but it wasn't the worst. So we grabbed the PlayStation 3 still in box Blu-ray remote. Even if I don't move this, we'll see. I'll put some up in the corner to see if there's actually any value in selling this. It was like eight bucks, no tax in there, so that's nice. So if we if we flip that, that's cool. And then Skyfall. It's a good, great James Bond movie, absolutely. And that's definitely just for me. So not a lot today. Really not a lot, but I mean, hey, that's cool. I'm happy with that. That's something. It's nice to come home with something. You don't want to go home too empty-handed. So, I think I'm going to go grab a bite to eat. I don't know. I have to see what, when I'm getting picked up. Maybe we'll both go. Maybe we'll both go to sushi. That sounds like a good time to me. Either way, thanks for hanging out with me on this trip, folks. Hope you had a good time. I did. We'll see you later.